Welcome to another video. We are going to cover lots of vocabulary to give instructions on how to use a vending machine, for example. So before we go to the how to do it, let's cover some vocabulary. Yes, so what is this? This is a candy bar. In Argentina, we say kiosco. Yes, where you can buy sweets, chewing gum. We say candy bar, so you can buy a selection of sweets, yes, or you can buy snacks. You can also buy potato chips or chewing gum, chew, that's the verb, chew, chewing gum, or nuts. In Argentina, we don't find nuts in kioscos, but it's a possibility, nuts. Mm -hmm. That's the, the word for all of the frutos secos. Then you have different words for different kinds of nuts. All right, you can also buy soft drinks or soda pops. And if you are on a diet, you can ask for a diet drink without sugar. Yes. Let's speak about machines. They are machines. This is a vending machine and a washing machine. Yes, lots of machines have the word machine in the names. Yes, these are two examples. All right, we will concentrate on the vending machine. So, parts of the vending machine that we are going to need to know to give instructions. All right, the coin return or release. Yes, you see it. Uh, there, it's where well, when you, you insert the coin and for some reason it doesn't work, clink, 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 you get the coin release. That's nice. You will have some kind of openings. Openings. Yes, open, abrir. Openings, we say aberturas. Mm -hmm. So you have some opening. For example, the bill acceptor or the coin insert. Mm -hmm. All right, in some vending machines, you will have a tray. Tray, that's a tray in normal life. In the vending machine, the, the place where the products drop, this, that's a tray, tray. Not in this one, but some machines, old vending machines, used to have a knob, knob. Notice that the cake is silent. The knob. Yes, you had to pull the knob to move the products. Not, not today. New vending machines don't have knobs. All right. Some more vocabulary that we may need. Out of order. What is the problem with this vending machine? It's out of order. Out of order. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You can use it for machines, for cars, for ATMs at the bank. You can use it for different kinds of machines, out of order. All right, what can you see there? Another vending machine, and another vending machine, and another vending machine. Otro. Yes, one more. Another vending machine. One more. If you want to say otros, other vending machines. Other vending machines, plural. Another, other. Everywhere you find vending machines everywhere in Japan. I took this picture from uh, the internet and I found out that in Japan you have vending machines everywhere, everywhere you go. All right, some verbs that we will need to know. Vending machines dispense products, dispense products. And how do they operate? Operate. How do they work? They are synonyms. Yes? Operate, work. Okay, let's see. Most probably, let's find out. Let's find out. Let's discover. Yes? Okay, be careful there. It's irregular. Found. Check the past. Probably in some vending machines, you have a kind of lid, 
lid. So you have to lift the lid. Not in the picture, but I couldn't find a picture with the lid. A lid. Mm -hmm. Remember the eyelid? Yeah, okay, the same word. Insert the coin in the slot. Slot. That would be the opening. Next, you have to choose what you want. Choose, decide, select what you want from the group of things. And when you have chosen, the, the snack sorry, drops in the tray. Drop. Similar to fall, drop. To fall. That's the same. Good. When it has dropped, lastly, you pick it up. Lastly, a connector. You pick it up. If for some reason the vending machine didn't work, you will get your money back. Get back. Phrase adverb. Attention there. Get back to receive something again. So you get your money back. Some problems that may happen when you are using the vending machine. Sometimes the coin gets stuck. Stuck. Because the coin sticks. Sticks to become difficult to move. We say in Spanish, trabar. Yes? Be careful because it's irregular. Stick, stuck. Oh my God. Stick, you know the verb. Yes, stick is also pegar. So this person is sticking papers. And a very popular word. What is this? Yes, you know, it's a sticker. That's why it's called a sticker, because in the old times, not today, yes, stickers used to be used to be stuck on paper. All right. Now you can teach this man how to use the vending machine. How to use the vending machine, because the book taught you. All right, irregular verb again, pay attention, taught, taught past of teach. Yes. My favorite vending machine at the gym. Yes. The vending machine. All right. Go back and review the vocabulary. And next video, we will discuss how to give instructions on how to use a machine or another one. See you next time for more.